The Columbiana County Health Department received $2 million to conduct independent well water testing for homes. People started raising concerns right after the train derailment in East Palestine, saying that their drinking water could be contaminated. Gina Cadigan spoke with one person on how much they trust these results. Gina? Derek and Madison, some say their concerns have eased, but others are still worried. Chemicals could take years to show up in their water and want this kind of testing for the long haul. The Columbiana County Health District will continue private well water testing for people living in and around East Palestine. We need to ensure that all of the residents in the area have a very clean and safe drinking water. I am still deeply concerned about the well-being of my community. The department has already taken over 1,200 samples to test for several hazardous substances in the drinking water. We've seen four exceedances, done some investigation, and found that those were not related to the derailment. As they've continued to take samples, results have shown nothing in the water. Residents are getting a little more comfortable. I think the anxiety has kind of calmed down a bit. The county will continue to take hundreds of more samples in the wells downstream from East Palestine as they look to establish a long-term testing program to ensure that the drinking water is safe post-derailment. I think we're a trusted source in the community. A lot of residents appreciate that we've been involved and, and they can call us with their results if they have questions. They may not be talking to somebody that's from another state. My main focus is ensuring that uh, everything stays okay and we're only able to know that if we are conducting the rigorous testing. With more local news, I'm Gina Cadigan.